More than eight months after the deadly wildfires on Maui, the fire department has released its highly anticipated after action report. The report says the intense heat and the extreme hurricane force winds outmatched firefighting operations. Chelsea Davis starts our team coverage live in Kula. Chelsea? Yeah, Keahi, Steph, the Maui Fire Department presented its after action report up here at the Kula Fire Station because they wanted to remind everyone that not only did they battle the worst fire in the nation in more than a century, but they battled the two worst fires in state history at the exact same time. On top of that, there were two other major fires on island at the exact same time. My Fire Department Chief Brad Ventura said firefighters did in fact run out of water that day on August 8th but he said the fire was so fierce and so out of control he said water would not have made a big difference he also said more firefighters would not have made a difference and he said better training also would not have made a difference even though he said those things would not have made a difference on that day he said they're still trying to expand their department there's no perfect number or formula um, of how many firefighters you actually need, but we do know that we've fallen behind as our call volume has tripled in the last, uh, since 2003 when Wailea Station opened. And so we do need to move forward and expand our services. Chief said normally there are eight to 10 firefighters working in the upcountry area. And he said that day they had 39 firefighters working upcountry. He said they normally have 14 to 17 firefighters working on the west side. And that day they had 54 firefighters working on the west side. The report lists 17 challenge areas. And one of those improvements is creating a communication plan, incorporating different languages. Now, this report did not cover the cause of the fire. Chief said that will be coming out of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms and Explosives, also known as ATF. But he said there's no telling when that will be released. But we have the full MFD after action report on our website. If you want to take a look at that, that's on HawaiiNewsNow.com. But for more on those 17 challenge areas, let's send it over to our Daryl Huff. You know, while it commended the fire department for its heroic response to multiple fires that day, the review did find flaws that can be corrected and improved. And many of the Western Fire Chiefs Association's recommendations are already being implemented. Some will take a while or require cooperation of other agencies. Once it got going, there was no stopping the fire. And with fires upcountry already straining the department, firefighters in Lahaina contended with limited manpower and equipment. The department's size hasn't kept up with the population, a lesson now learned. So when we build a fire station, we're gonna be building for the future, not for today. And there's no perfect number or formula um, of how many firefighters you actually need, but we do know that we've fallen behind so along with adding staff and stations, as recommended, the department also needs to surge in the face of a crisis. It will build reserves of engines with supplies standardized and organized. That's because during the fires, off-duty firefighters who came in waited over an hour while trucks were equipped. It also recommends building mutual aid agreements with law enforcement and military partners like the National Guard. It says the Hawaii Guard should keep a C-130 firefighting aircraft on hand for major events. But in the meantime... The apparatus that we're ordering now and requesting, we won't see on Maui for several years. We, we are working, we're continuously working with our partners in the private sector to make sure we have robust backfill. Lack of preparation was an issue. The report said the red flag warning didn't seem to be taken seriously, and the department should have pre-positioned equipment in identified risk areas. It also said attrition meant battalion chiefs had an average less than three years experience and needed other commanders to oversee and coordinate the fight in the field. The report makes the now common suggestion to establish evacuation routes with underground utilities and little foliage. And now about communication. Moving forward will certainly be one of the areas we focus on. It always is, and there's, um, there's room for improvement. Fire radios worked, but were clumsy in a crisis. The disorganized system for calling in off-duty firefighters left some unaware they were needed. Alerts didn't account for non-English speaking residents or tourists, and cellular systems died for lack of power or fire damage. 
The report also echoed calls for better management of fallow land to reduce wildfire fuels and said the fire department should be more involved in working fire safety into new construction projects. Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now. Thank you.